What's going on everyone? Uh, today is day five of my learning to vlog. Uh, I'm going to be posting this one though. Uh, the rest of them I didn't plan on posting till I got through to every single day, all 30 days or more, whatever it takes for me to be, you know, confident in uh, vlogging. Anyway, today I'm going to be uh, sharing this one publicly because uh, I want... I want to make an awareness for something for an incident that happened last night. It's uh, blind spots in a truck and how important it is for me as a truck driver and for automobiles, you know, around to, to realize that, uh, you know, we have blind spots and, and, you know, sometimes things happen, you know, um, what had happened was, is I'm driving along and you'll see in the video clip, I'm going to include it from my drive cam understand with my drive cam it is very high up on the windshield and very far forward from my face it's probably about three feet from where i actually sit so its view is phenomenal if we could only sit right there i'd be able to see everything that happens anyway as you'll see in the video um i'm, I'm coming up to it's a three-lane road and a on-ramp comes along and that lane or that on-ramp becomes the, the fourth lane the far right lane and I have a habit of staying in that far right lane I don't like being in any other lane you know stay right uh, uh, keep right go uh, go left to pass or whatever so I stay as far right as I always can and at this particular particular spot it's in in Baltimore right before the tunnel and the two right lanes are for trucks and the two left lanes are for cars and at night they've been closing the left lane or the left two lanes the left tunnel and only all the cars go on the right. So I like to get over just in case anybody in those those other three left lanes, if they have to get over to the two right lanes. So I have a tendency to just get straight over to that right lane. Now this on ramp is a dark on ramp, and it has a wall, K wall, J wall, whatever you call it. So a car coming on, I'm technically I'm not going to see that car, especially you know being in a truck in a car haul and we have a head rack you see on, on the video that that head rack blocks a lot of our view you know and i'm usually really good at okay i see someone i'll i'll, I'll raise up or whatever i'll do what i gotta do to 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 see if there's someone there um i thought i had done that apparently i didn't so i'm driving along after that on ramp or after i get over to the right there's another on ramp and i'm just driving along minding my own business you know, I, I'm i not the one, when it when it comes to lanes coming from the right to the left, you know, if I see you, I'll back off to let you in. Well, all of a sudden, I just noticed that there was a, a car right in front of me, and it actually startled me. And I didn't see him until he got over to the left side of me, to my left front uh, driver's side. And I was like, holy crap. So uh, I turned around, and uh, I backed off a little. But as as you'll see in the that after that part, I, I eventually get up to a canine officer that was in the left lane doing 50 miles an hour it's a 55 mile an hour zone so i'm going to be slowly going by them at 55 i get through the tunnel as i get through the tunnel this officer comes pulls up next to me at the toll booth and it's like as soon as you pay that toll get over right away you, you know and screaming at me and i'm like okay no problem you better pull over you know i better not have to chase you down i'm like oh i'm not going nowhere okay so when i, I pay my toll and she's pulled up um, with another car and I, I figured that you know the person's got their four ways on and whatever and she's talking to them and she comes walking over to me and she's like you know uh, this guy says you ran him off the road I'm like okay I, I don't I if I did it wasn't on purpose I didn't where was it I don't know you know and she's like it's right before the tunnel I said okay well I mean I've got two drive cams in here I can look at the footage on both and see but I didn't see anybody. I, I didn't purposely do anything. You know, I'm sorry. You know, I don't know what you want. What do you want me to tell you? So, uh, she just goes on and says, uh, uh, well, give me your information. She did. She took that. And she was a county police officer and not the city of Baltimore police. Um, when she was questioning him and then came back to me, three other officers showed up from, uh, the Baltimore police department. Uh, all very nice people. Even the, even the canine officer was very nice. You know, she she's she said that the guy was beeping at her, you know, flagging her down and stuff, and and she she had to you know investigate. Hey, it's fine. They're doing their job. It's it's fine with me. So so long story short, we couldn't determine. You know, it was basically it's out of sight, out of mind, kind of like when there was no 
accident, you know, um, the guy, the officer said he really overreacted and, 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 you know, uh, it was like, you know, he doesn't realize the blind spots and, and he doesn't realize things could happen and, you know, just be vigilant around truck drivers. And after looking at this footage, yeah, okay. It was my fault. I did not see him. Um, I even have a window over on that side and it just so happened he was at the right spot where I just could not see him. Um, I, I, I don't know what else I could have done. Normally, I could tell when cars are coming behind another car, there's a car next to me, when their headlights are, I could see their headlights. For some reason, I, I don't know if he had dull headlights or what, but I didn't see any of his headlights. Anyway, so you'll see in the clip, um, just how bad it is. If you watch it to the end, it's a two minute clip. You see where I approach the uh, officer. You know, I'm just getting up to there to pass, but there's nothing really to see after the two incidences. Um, uh, if you uh, enjoyed it, awesome. You know, I, you know, subscribe if you can. Um, give me a like if you liked it. If you didn't, whatever. Um, just be careful around truck drivers and, and give us the benefit of the doubt. You know, uh, for one, I really apologize to this guy. I'm I'm so terribly sorry. You know, it just it's a it's a wake up reminder. 1.3 million miles out of here on the road, and I haven't had anything like that happen to me before. Until next time, peace out.